Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Jackson Taku. And I'm Prista Funk. Today is Thursday, February 27th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Before we start, this is the last week of Black History Month. Let's check our daily fun fact. Matt Turner was a slave and preacher, and most famous you know for being the leader of one of the bloodiest slave revolts in the United States. Turner recruited several slaves to join his cause. Turner's rebellion occurred on August 21st, 1831, and approximately 55 white people died. However, approximately 100 to 200 African Americans were slaughtered after the rebellion. Turner was eventually captured and was sentenced to death by hanging in November of the same year. Turner was emerged throughout history as a hero, religious fanatic, and criticized for enticing violence as a means of change, but became an important icon for the Black Power movement in the 1960s. To end off Black History Month, we are having a Spear Week. Don't forget to dress up and participate. And we are having our second annual Black History Month Showcase. The event is in the MP Room this Friday, February 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. This is the culminating event for Black History Month, so you don't want to miss an evening celebrating music, poetry, dance, and food. And the showcase is a free event. All are welcome to attend. Cheerleaders, there is a parent meeting March 2nd at 6 p.m. in the MP Room. To those wanting to join cheerleading, trial begin March 16th to 20th in a small gym from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Seniors, you must fill out and have parents sign the new Great America Permission Slip and bring it to the student store by this Friday, February 28th. The new date of this trip is on Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Now let's pass it on over to Horace and RJ for a sports update. This is CO! This is CO! What's going on, Wolfpack? I'm Horace Sakub. And I'm RJ Omega, and we are here with your sports update. <laughs> In school sports news, the men's baseball team has an away game against Madura on Saturday the 29th. Good luck, guys. In local sports news, Sheldon High School is versing Capital Christian at Golden 1 for the Division 1 title on Friday at 8 p.m. In professional sports news, Tom Brady is currently operating under the belief that he will enter free agency to play somewhere other than New England next season. A sentiment the quarterback has shared with others, sources told ESPN. Some key Kobe Bryant memorabilia, including two of his Los Angeles Lakers uniforms and cement handprints from his induction into the Grauman's Chinese Theater Hall of Fame gallery, are going up for sale in April. The items would be up for sale on April 30th as part of its annual sports auction that includes a silver medal from the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles and a 2002 World Cup gold winner's medal. Well, that's it for Sports Update Wolfpack. I'm Marshall Mika. And I'm Harasaka. Back, Back to you, anchors. anchors. Thanks guys. Seniors, if you plan on attending ball or any senior activities this spring, make sure to check the no activity list frequently. Are you interested in programming, self-driving cars, or electronics? Then the ACRT club is perfect for you. Our goal is to program and race mini self-driving cars from MIT. No prior programming experience is required. If you're interested, please attend our meetings on Tuesdays from 315 to 430 in HF2 or contact Ms. Hale for more information. The elephant is coming up. Let's find out more information. So the outlet started because my daughter, Wesley, she knew a few young people that had made the choice to take their own lives. You have these young people that are making such a final decision. What is it that they want us to know? Like, what are they trying to say? What is it that they need? Last October, we asked students to submit poems and other written works. And Thespian Society took your words and turned them into scenes, monologues, and dance performances. The Outlet, a place for expression without judgment, is coming to the Black Box Theater on March 21st at 7 p.m. Admission is free, and we are accepting donations for the Q-Spot Youth Homeless Shelter. So we encourage you to bring toiletries, socks, and undergarments for our donation box. When you think about The Outlet, you think of venting how you feel, but this is more than that. Even though some topics are sad, we present them in an uplifting way. Your presence will show your support for your peers that have been brave enough to speak their truth. So, we hope to see you there. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Priscilla Fong. And I'm Jackson Talk. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Retro Day, Day, Wolf Pack. Wolf pack.